Today's adventure takes us to, nope, not Las Vegas, but the Atomic Testing Museum, an affiliate of the Smithsonian Institute. This is actually really cool, guys. Uh, we're going to check out a lot of cool things in here. Uh, I don't know what to expect. I just happened to uh, find this as I'm searching things to come check out here in and around Vegas. And this sparked my interest, so I've done zero research on it. Let's check it out together, guys. 87 ships take positions three miles per second. The evacuated ruler of Bikini, King Judah, gets a front row seat at the bomb blast as he arrives aboard the Mount McKinley and is greeted by Admiral Blandy. And now are shown the most dramatic pictures of the underwater blast. Here is the motion picture spectacle of all time. All right, so as soon as we walk in, Got this really, really, really awesome. Uh, the fat man. So you guys can read a little on that. So there was a, there were two atomic bombs dropped in World War II. The fat man, and I think the other one was the little boy. And this was the, uh, I believe, the bigger of the two. This is really cool. But uh, just want to say real quick that uh, we had to get permission to film in here. And so I just want to say thank you to the museum uh, for allowing us to do that. Testing the gadget. July 16, 1945, Solomon scientists successfully tested their gadget. Here's the test site. These guys only knew how radioactive that site was at that time. I doubt they'd be standing there. Jeez. Dang. I want to go back to you. No, actually, I don't. Base camp. The army built a makeshift base camp. 11 miles south of the Trinity Tower, the camp was hit twice by stray bombs dropped during practice runs on the... Wow, that's crazy. No? I can graph wreckage of which... Hmm. Look at this, I love this old technology, guys. That is so cool. The little screen right there. Round little screen. Yeah, I was right. And the little boy. Fat man and the little boy. It's uranium? Uranite. Uranium fuel from the first nuclear reactor. Wow. Look at that right there, those little 
They look like uh, they look like dice. Let me zoom in just a tad bit. They look like dice. Pull from from world's first atomic reactor. I'm sorry, I'm trying to read this brass plate here. It's hard to see. Fuel from world's first atomic reactor, December second, 1942, Stagfield, Chicago, Illinois. Project security badge. And then it's a big bomb we're talking about. This is something that's pretty scary. Sucks. And with our soldiers, your ring detector and original box of the case. You guys can read that. Troops were very interesting. Their protected trenches and march toward the detonation. You guys look at this. This looks Today, like uh, an old timing gun. How do you would time uh, Many have time cars, but it's not. It's for looking for uranium. Kind of like a metal detector, but for uranium. Let's so check this out, guys. This is a salt shaker. If you guys it was produced by the Homer Laughlin Company of West Virginia, uranium was used to provide the color of the glaze. Wow. That is crazy. Who Imagine having this nowadays, jeez. The Bryn Tower light, this light was once installed at the top of Bryn Bear Reactor Experimental Nevada space. Tower. It's easy to look a few miles yeah, north of the Sheep Mountain Range toward the Nevada test site. That's crazy. Between 1950 and 1960, the city's population grew by 161%. A quarter Want to read on that? And there's the tower. Many people were drawn by the explosion. In the so what is this? LLW waste drum. The sample low-level waste drum showcases what a typical container of waste on the site may look like. All waste coming into Nevada must follow the Nevada, the Nevada National Security Site waste acceptance criteria, or this for short protect the environment personal and public sorry to protect the environment personnel and public from chemical radiological hazards dang that's crazy right now now we're going into the main museum so some wreckage from Mount Charleston plane crash I was uh, unfamiliar with this plane crash, not sure uh, what the significance is of it. We got all the uh, the victims there, the names and their ages. You guys can read that stuff. Well, you guys can finish reading that. Life in Mercury during 1950s. My County Sheriff, Mercury, Nevada. Uh, that's a, one of their offices. A mock-up of an office. Hey, look at that old uh, typewriter, if that's a typewriter. It looks like one. Or is that, would that be a uh, sin break break? I don't know, it might be a, uh, I'm sure somebody would know exactly what this is. It looks like a typewriter, but it also looks like a, a fax machine. I don't know. I don't see uh, anything that explains what it would be. <laughs> the old General Electric radios. Very interesting. I don't know, Mrs. 909, do you hear like a simulation or something going on back over here? He is for Adam. Look at that, guys. A dozen times the answer. A dozen times the answer, sorry. A dozen times the awesome mushroom has risen in view of these youngsters 25 miles from the Nevada test site. Here's the story of the most 
autumn, <laughs> autumn wise kids. They even got uh, peanuts. There's a uh, comic there. Look, they got kicks. Kicks, atomic bomb rings. For the stamps. Memorabilia. First atomic bomb. Oh, wow, guys. Look at atomic, the best. Five rolls, 250 shots. How many of you remember caps, the paper caps? They have a very distinctive smell that once you smell them, you'll never forget it. It's like the smell of my childhood. Got some Life magazine pictures back there. We got the uh, military toys. Atomic fireballs, yes, those are so good. Emergency drinking water in a can. Survival crackers back there. Wow. And uh, the little boy model. That's the one we were talking about. What is this, a G.I. Joe? So, yeah, a side-by-side -side view of the, uh, the fat man and the little boy. The USS Nevada, a bikini, the Bikini Atoll, yes. So, from what I remember about the Bikini Atoll is, I don't know, it's kind of heartbreaking, guys. They nuked this island that uh, people once inhabited, and they call it home. They still call it home to this day, but nobody can live there. And they want to go back but uh, it's going to be a radioactive site for years and years Second. movie of the month home movies in color movie of the month presented I guess it doesn't say what movie it is Test only. One hundred and nineteen pounds as fired Hoyt. Testing and taming of nuclear weapons. Still helmet with safety goggles from the atmospheric nuclear testing period 1945-1963. So this is called a, a Davy Crockett. <laughs> Probably a code name. Check this out, this is like an old Geiger counter, survey meter. I think we call these Geiger counters nowadays. Phone. Observers without goggles must face away. 
to Mrs. 909 real quick. You're not really enjoying this as much as I am, are you? This is not my thing. What did you think about that little uh, test site simulation we just went through? Yeah, it was. Get it. I get it. The bomb without a boom. Stockpile stewardship. For training only. Testing with computers. If you guys are ever in the uh, Las Vegas area, you guys can come to the Atomic Testing Museum and uh, check a few of these things out that we skipped over yourself. So the, uh, the underground stuff. Like an old, uh, old seismograph, maybe. Mm. Uh, not 100 percent sure. You guys can read that if you want. Oh, seismograph. Yeah, I guess it was seismograph. Dang, look at all the, uh, look at all the test sites. Wow. That is a lot of uh, a lot of tests they did. Do you imagine if they never did this test, guys? If they were never doing these tests, never any sort of nuclear anything out there, atomic whatever. This would probably all be developed full of homes, schools. Wow. So we got a whole bunch of uh, Geiger counters. It would be interesting just to buy one and have one today. They look much different. They're small meters, probably no bigger than a cell phone. Goes the, uh, the old timing gun looking radium detector. Shelters, curry comb, whatever uh, that is there. Curry comb. This is a four by five inch metal curry comb for brushing a horse. It's a horse comb. I love seeing these, this old stuff, guys. Now, at first glance, when we walk into this next room, at a quick glance, this almost looked like a front of a train, a small train. Obviously, another, uh, here we go, a B-53 thermal nuclear weapon. Nine megatons. Used to tell people that the Weighs 8,850 pounds. Wow. It was something totally different from any experience that I've had. Look at that, though. Everyone pitched in to make that test work, work successfully, get the data. Thing is and huge. The test site is the place to test new ideas. Oh, the chunk of the Berlin Wall. I, I've seen quite a few chunks of the Berlin Wall. The thing must have been massive because they're everywhere. A popcorn engine model. Wow.
And again, at first glance, this looks like an old switchboard for like uh, telecommunications. Uh, I don't think it is. All right, guys, that's the end of the tour here at the Atomic Testing Museum. This is really cool. I'm glad we got out here. And uh, of course, you know, at the end of every tour, they dump you out into a, uh, a gift shop. So I'm not going to show you guys that. I skipped over a few things to leave some things to the imagination so you guys can come and check out uh, this yourself. Now, I really hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys are enjoying this museum series here on my channel, please drop a comment down below. Let me know that you guys want to see more. And uh, I will be sure to get out to other cool museums like this one in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. One more quick thing on the way out. World Trade Center I-beam. Please touch carefully, sharp edges. And, wow, that thing is massive. Touching the World Trade Games. This is really cool. Bartender, where's light, please? <laughs>